But this year, his seventh year overall, 245 wins as a Pacers head coach, 900 total. And the Pacers wearing the blue uniforms have the ball to start. Who's, who's actually a, a really good shot blocker. He's, he's injured. But they do have Lloyd Marketing. He's a tough player. Oh. Well, not without the ball. OB! Just a soft ball. Oh, so, yeah. Deontay George, 19 years old, out of Baylor. And that's a drive and a miss. But it's rebounded by Turner. Basket and a foul. It's 4 nothing early. Pacers. Four guys that start to be, and that's one of them. No looker there by Halliburton. Enough for Will Hardy to take a timeout. Just underway here in the opening quarter. John Collins looks for Markinen. Got it inside, and Markinen, who's averaging almost 25 points per game, scores. You can just play. Play hard, because they don't have uh, um, the three point shooting is always going to be the But they're not deep enough in the fourth quarter. Pacers scored the game's first seven. Utah has answered with nine straight. Clarkson makes it 12 straight. Pacers down 12-7. Yeah, I'm looking to see from Madden. Stumbling is Clarkson, but he gets the ball back. Shot clock at 10. Nice job. They're forcing left. Boy, I mean, They've been able to get downhill first. They've been able to get the, the, the feet, feet in the paint. The jump hook is in and good by Turner. He's got a nine-point quarter. Here's a three by Neesmith. It's short. It was easily a, a, a challenge because there was nobody to get this. Broke the defense down. And I'll keep saying feet in the paint. Did break the defense down. Collins showing some things. And it's a ten-point Utah lead. There you go. Good read by Buddy. Because nobody was really guarding. Pacers get it. Loose ball. Here's Buddy for three. Love it. Ball movement was good. The intent was good. They had the advantage. Now let's see what Benedict can do. Step back three. Matherin ties it at 29. He's really worked hard on that J. Fights for the rebound. Tipped out. Nemhard. Matherin, he likes that step back, doesn't he? And he's hit three of them. Well, that's the reason he likes it. <laughs> Hard drive by Sexton. He lost the ball. Picked up by Dunn. Fontecchio will reload for three and hit it. It's a different game here. Big East is a big-time league, guys. This is a big game. This is a different, totally different business. Fontecchio. He's a shooter. And the Jet being, for those of you who don't know, Jason Terry, who was on the Mavericks championship team, but is an assistant coach with, uh, with Utah. Some people, but he healed. Oh, boy, did Brown save that? Because if that pass had gone to Toppin, it was anticipated by Kelly Olynyk. He, he, he went to the Lakers first as a bucket getter. He hadn't even looked at the one yet. Bruce Brown has shot 45%. And the post now Turner works on Markin and spins, scores. 18 in the first half for Miles Turner. Because he's trying to close out this half with a really good defensive possession. See, they, they don't really just walk. They really don't have anybody to get him into anything. Right? Anthony George is a rookie that they get around the defense and put it up left-handed. Pacers have matched their largest lead of seven. But quickly, the rookie Keontae George with his first pass would send you the stats. No doubt. No question. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Lee Smith from Halliburton. That's it. You're looking at a 120 point potential game. Man. George lobs it in. Marketing it missed it. Tipped it in. Yeah, that's 60 points. Pacers have four and a half seconds. Halliburton in the corner. Nemhart for three. Got how about the push-up in terms of, and he's doing it as though he's looking out, looking at his team. I mean, it was well done. That's that, that, hey, that's that 900 wins kind of thing there. He's trying to play with his teammates. And part of that miss was a part of a function of, that's not normally what Matherin has done. Baji for three. 
I'm telling you what, we're going early to Neesmith. Because Rick knows how important. First of all, you got to play guys anyway. You're going to have to play, uh, you know. And then it was a big run by Utah, just like right now. Missed that. Rebound, Brown. Top it down the lane with a left hand. Another great Ron Boone, who both do radio and television, respectively. They said that's really the difference. People are waiting to play against them when they did. Last year they didn't, didn't think they were that good. Yeah. You know, they in the corner, Neesmith for three. Turner fights for the rebound, got it to Matherin. A three now by Halliburton. Extra effort, Pacers on the offensive glass. <laughs> he really did. I mean, he just forced it to pass the ball. He don't know what to do with himself. John Collins hits the three. Smith came right in and got the rebound. See, I think part of his gonna has and will happen with Clark. He's had to work awfully hard to get shots. Off the glass. Teardrop. Teardrop off the glass. <laughs> Pally likes to shoot it. Pacers get it back. Ahead. Smith pounds it down. That's all right. I think we've got to bring a little more to the game. Pacers would like to get this lead. And there's Clarkson. They just cannot get it past seven. Field is two for eight. Make it two for nine now from three-point range. And the basket and the foul for Colin Sexton. Yeah, two guys that have really improved summer work. Lee Smith and Smith. Sexton for three. Tied it up. Two for ten tonight, healed. He came in shooting 55% in his last three games, and another three, and it's Chris Dunn. And Utah has been susceptible to that during his losing streak. Inside, yeah. Matherin up in, Pacers back in front. He's so strong, he got fouled, the official didn't even see it. And he ended up putting 1.9 seconds on the clock. Get into the, the game fast. And hard. Up in, Pacers by three. They will lead after three. Dunn missed it. Rebound, Neesmith. Make them pay. Make them pay. They missed a mismatch and they missed an easy bucket. Pull up three. Matherin. He's made another four of them tonight. Salt Lake City played host to the All-Star game a year ago. Pacers, of course, have it this year. It will be in San Francisco in 2025. Here's Keontae George. He just came in and just took that from the trees. Yeah, that falls in for Dunn. Dunn's had a nice game off the bench with seven. Gets it. Leaves it off for Smith, who dunks it, and a foul. Pacers lead by ten, their first double-figure lead. Yeah. And here's Brown, coast to coast. Terrifically red. Bianca George. Since late third quarter when Utah led 98-95, the Pacers on a 21-6 run. That's Chris Lee. So let him know he's coming to the ball. He sees it, he loved. He said the floater by Nembhard. We'll take it. Yeah, oh, no, you take it. Yeah. Fortunately, you're through the hand and T.J. Great pass. Great pass. I mean, Halliburton threaded the needle now. It was missed by Brown, but Jalen Smith, who's having a terrific start to the season. And they'll reset with four to play. Nice help. Great help. That's marking it in the corner. Always tough for it. Well, he got shoved to the floor. Halliburton to knee Smith. His three. Perfect. That'll force a timeout. I'm telling you that. That'll force a timeout. You get that. Oh, that almost went in, dude. So you get a little bit of a break. Oh! Jordan Clarkson said, you just got topped. What a night for Aaron Neesmith. His second 20-point game off the bench. He's got 21. Marketing came back and got a two-hander of his own. Tomorrow night here with another win against Milwaukee. J.J. and Eddie will talk about it on the Andy Moore Automotive Pacers Live postgame show. We'll hear from Rick Carlisle.